Ni hao. Uh, firstly, thank you to Advance uh, for putting on this uh, amazing event. It's uh, an honor uh, to be uh, recognized uh, at such a high level. Um, sorry, I have my notes. I noticed no one else had a piece of paper. Um, it, it really is an honor uh, to be in a room full of very smart and brilliant people. Uh, I don't really fall into that category, um, but I'm highly qualified uh, and, and very, very good at eating food. <laughs> My job is to go and eat cake and bread and sandwiches and taste coffee. Um, it's officially called quality control. Um, people envy my job, uh, especially my mom. Um, but seriously, quality, quality control is a, a very important part of what we do. Uh, there have been many food safety scandals in, in China, and we take our jobs very seriously in providing uh, good, safe, and healthy food for the 1.4 billion Chinese people. Um, Creating and innovating uh, products is also very a uh, very important part of our business. Um, you know, John and I, John is my business partner. Uh, he and I strongly believe that just because you have a cafe full of customers doesn't mean that you have a good business. Um, what it actually tells us is, is that we need to find a way to do better, to get more customers. Um, Waggers has been around since 99. Uh, just to make a point here, uh, I am not a co-founder. Uh, John is the founder of the business. I joined a couple of years later, um, so I can't take credit uh, for that. Um, but we've been around since 99, and uh, Shanghai and China is such a competitive market uh, that it's really, really important to constantly renew and uh, refresh and you know, almost reinvent your your, your business, uh, you know, over and over again. That's what the Chinese consumers want. They want new, new, new. Um, and so we spend a lot of time, uh, you know, doing that. Um, Waggers began as a simple cafe, um, but today with the growing middle class, um, it's now become a lifestyle brand. Uh, so people look at Waggers, Chinese, young Chinese people look at Waggers as a lifestyle. And uh, for me, that's a, a very important thing because they went through years of eating junk food, McDonald's and KFC. So we feel that we've uh, made an impact on influencing young Chinese people to eat more healthy. I would like to thank a, a few people, so please bear with me. Firstly, to thank uh, all our customers, but in particular, our Australian customers. Uh, I think Stephanie is one of them over there. One of the biggest uh, compliments that uh, we get is, uh, you know, they say, oh, Jackie, you saved my life. You know, I, I, I feel like I'm in Australia when I come to your store. So I'd like to thank them for all their support. Um, I don't know how to thank a country like China, but I'd like to thank the 1.4 billion people in China uh, for allowing John and I to have a space to, to build something and to make our mark. I just hope those 1.4 billion people come and spend some money. Um, I'd like to uh, make a mention to Michelle Garneau. Um, Michelle uh, nominated me, uh, and I feel very honored uh, about that. Um, I, I mentioned Michelle mainly because she's been around uh, in Shanghai and in China for such a long time. And uh, I'm a little bit younger than, than, than her, but she was always someone that we thought, wow, that's the big boss of M on the Bund. And we really looked up to her. Uh, and she does amazing stuff for women in business. So I, I, I'd like to thank Michelle for, for setting that standard uh, for us. Um, my mom and dad, the young guy on my table over there, and the young lady, uh, I'd like to thank them for being, <laughs> hi mom, uh, I'd like to thank them for being amazing storytellers. Uh, they never nagged us or lectured us, uh, mom was a very good storyteller. Uh, so through their wisdom uh, and their love and support um, and their storytelling, um, somehow at the age of 25 I finally grew a brain and actually used my brain 
and decided to move to China. Before that, I was just a loser. Um, <laughs> so I thank my mom and dad for uh, persisting uh, with me. Uh, for my partner, Deb, who's not here this evening, uh, thank you for being patient, uh, for allowing me to um, be, you know, uh, to, to live, to, to, to do what I do in Shanghai and to put up with uh, having to listen, about, to, to listen to me about talking about coffee and sandwiches and opening stores and, and boring you to death. Uh, but she's been a great support um, uh, of, of, of me and allowing me to make Waggers my, my priority and not her. Um, I'd like to mention our 1,300 strong team in China. I'm almost done. Uh, I, 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 uh, I'd like to uh, mention our 1,300 people in, in, in China. They're uh, an amazing young team. Um, and uh, they, they do, you know, they, they make John and I very proud. And we feel that to be able to, you know, teach thousands of kids actually a little bit of English, um, how to serve customers, uh, to understand what health and food safety is, uh, I feel that's a really important thing. Maybe not as important as what, you know, Peter and, uh, and, and some of the other brilliantly minded people do, but uh, I, I feel that's very important. Um, last but not least, I'd like to thank my business partner, uh, John, who is not here tonight because he doesn't qualify as an Australian. Uh, he's Danish. Um, but I, I would like to, to thank him for being, you know, the bestest partner uh, anyone could have. Um, he is unstoppable. He is uh, very smart. He is full of passion. He's energetic. Um, he drives me up the wall sometimes with his crazy ideas. Uh, but it is really, you know, a combination of his crazy ideas and my thick skin and uh, some of my feng shui Chinese skills that actually make us a really good team uh, together. And we've been working together now for 16 years. Um, and some people don't even stay married for that long. So I feel very proud. Um, I'm lucky just to have John as one business partner. Uh, you know, it's like a, a, a wife or a husband. You only need one, um, and uh, any more than one is just mafan or trouble. Um, so on behalf of, uh, on behalf of John uh, and uh, on behalf of uh, our team in China, I'd like to thank you advance once again for this opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, xie xie. <laughs>